This is six time IFBB Bikini Pro Champion, Brina Martinez, and I take ZMA5 to make sure that I get the zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6 needed to keep my immune system healthy and snack strong. Uh, we start first with the representatives from the team. Eddie, welcome. Um, this is a big fight. Of course, the road to Undisputed. Uh, I believe the toughest fight in the division, Billy Joe Saunders. I know you uh, look at him as a real, real test, but excited for a huge event and a huge fight this weekend. Sí, la verdad, este va a ser una gran pelea. Los dos mejores pesos medios que hay en el mundo y, pues, más que nada ante 70 mil gentes y después de la pandemia eh, reunir tanta gente y, pues, un orgullo que que sea mexicano. It'll be a great fight, two of the best middleweight fighters in the world in front of 70,000 people, especially after the pandemic. Uh, it it's, gives me a lot of joy and a lot of honor to be especially a Mexican in the ring. People talk about the, the skill of Billy Joe Saunders, the speed, the, the trickery. Canelo talks about this is a difficult fight. Obviously, you've prepared for that, and you expect a fantastic fight this weekend. Sí, Billy Joe Saunders is an excellent peleador, bicampeón mundial. Uh, Tiene muy buen entrenador, tiene muy buena, muy buenas hechuras boxísticas, se sabe defender, sabe atacar, buenas combinaciones. Eh, por algo ha sido campeón mundial y por algo es campeón mundial. Entonces tenemos una pelea difícil, pero creo que va a estar más difícil abajo del ring que arriba. He's a great fighter. He's a two-time champion for a reason. He has a good trainer. He knows how to defend. He moves around really well. We know it's going to be a good fight and on and off the ring. Thank you, Eddie. Tom, sitting up here, it's Mark yep. Tibbs as well. I know this is a very proud moment for you as well. It is, uh, yeah. You said yeah. yesterday about, you know, you've been waiting for this moment for your son and you believe he's going to do the business this weekend. 110%. I mean, he's been boxing since five, you know, five years of age. Um, he's amateur pedigree, second and none. He's, it's the same as a car. If you get a service history, you know, with a car full service history, he's been full service history. Dad, right you ain't up. got to worry about selling no cars to these. They're not going to no, buy them. No, I know so that. So just, just chill. But what I'm saying is, is everything's there and we're ready for the job. A lot of people for a long time in Britain have talked about Billy Joe Saunders, his skill and his ability, of course, as an amateur. You followed him around from those early amateur days. Yeah. This is the absolute pinnacle of the sport, this, isn't it? This is what we've been waiting for. I mean, he's trained all his life for it. Um, we've left no stone unturned and uh, on fight night, you're going to see something special, and you're going to see somebody that's, um, well, there's only one winner, and that's Billy Joe Saunders. You know? And back home, I've been speaking to uh, a lot of people. I know that you know, the UK's right behind him. Um, there's a lot of gypsy magic in this fight as well. You know, There's a spell being cast. Um, so... You know, we're definitely going to see something special. Thank you, Tom. So, um, this is a huge fight, of course. We know the last two fights in front of 12,000, 15,000, but this, the record-breaking crowd, 70,000 people, just two days to go now. Así es, no, la verdad que me siento muy, muy agradecido con la gente, agradecido por la respuesta que han brindado. Me siento muy orgulloso, muy contento de traer el boxeo, que sea el boxeo el que trae toda la normalidad y, y, y pues listo para, para ganar el sábado. I feel really thankful with the response of the people and that boxing is the sport that brings everything back to normal and I'm ready for this fight. You talk about this fight. I know you, you respect Billy Joe Saunders as a fighter. It's a tricky fight for you as well. Are you excited? You know, people talk about the fights eight years ago when you boxed, you know, likes of Trout and Lara and they compare that. Are you excited to show how you've developed as a fighter this weekend? Así es, no. Es un gran peleador. Es un peleador con muchas habilidades. Aparte, es un peleador zurdo. Eh, pues... No soy el mismo de hace seis años, siete años, no tengo más, más experiencia, más madurez arriba del cuadrilátero y, y pues eh, no faltan unos días para demostrarlo. He's a great fighter, he has a lot of abilities and he's also a southpaw, but I'm not the same fighter of six or seven years ago and this Saturday I will show that. And finally, you know, you see a lot of people come here and they almost look happy to get the chance to fight you. This guy looks to come to win. We have great build up yesterday, a lot of fun. Um, everybody is talking about this fight all around the world. Just a little bit of a different vibe this time around. I see a little bit of an edge to this fight. Pues he estado envuelto en muchas peleas muy importantes. La verdad que para mí es un día más en la oficina. Estoy muy contento de estar aquí, agradecido con con 
el trabajo que siempre hacemos al 100% y para mí es un día más en la oficina. Vengo a ganar, es, el boxeo es mi vida, es parte de mi vida y así lo tomo. I've been in a lot, involved in a lot of big fights and this is just another day at the office. I come to win and like I said, it's, boxing is my life and I come here to win. Billy, just two days away now from, as I said, the moment of your career, the moment of destiny for you. I know that you've been looking at this opportunity for a long, long time, just a chance to prove yourself. And on Saturday, you believe you will become the unified Ring Magazine WBC, WBO and WBA world champion. Yeah, first of all, I just want to thank my uh, management team, MTK Global, obviously for, um, for playing a big, huge part into this fight and plus the, uh, the build-up. Um, look, I've been boxing all my life. I've been boxing since I've been five years old, been dragged up, you know, in, uh, on the gypsy camps. These can, we can all have the rough, tough talk growing up as kids, but I'm here for a reason, and there's no other reason for me to be here apart from win. Not about fame, not about anything else, not about publicity, win. And I don't think we've had somebody come to win for a very, very long time. We've had a lot of people turn up, fly in, collect checks and fly out, but we haven't had, you know, the, the heart and soul and the IQ that I would bring to the, to the table and to the ring on Saturday night to win. I know, that, I know that there was a lot of backwards and forwards yesterday. I know that you also study boxing. You do rate this gentleman very, very highly. You know how tough this is going to be. But again, he's someone... You said to me the other day on the podcast, you said... I knew I was going to get this fight one day, and it's nearly here. Listen, I, you know, you can't, I can't talk what he's done down. He's done brilliant things for boxing. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's a good champion, but, you know, like I say, there's, there's a time in life where you get tested. And sometimes when you forget where you come from and forget all them hard things, you know, what's brought you to where you're at, sometimes, you know, that can make it difficult on yourself. And, and I just think that he's going to be bumping into the wrong man on Saturday night to be going over them titles. Like I say, as long as, it's, as, long as I get... Um, Fet Traley, we're very happy with the, with the panel, with the judges, um, you know, very experienced judging. I'm sure it's all going to be fair. Um, I'm looking forward to a very, very good fight, but most definitely the win. And finally, you, you're right, a lot of people do come here. They get overruled by the occasion. This crowd will be amazing. It will just be the most incredible atmosphere on Saturday. You think that will bring the best out of you on Saturday night? I think myself that, um, you know, I've been up against the crowds before. You know, I've, I've, I've travelled as, as an amateur um, to the Olympic Games at 18, there's no bigger pressure come on someone's shoulders when they're stepping in front of millions of people there. So, like I say, um, there's added pressure coming for both of us for this, for, for this fight because none of us don't want to go home the loser. But at the end of the day, you know, the Mexican people half like him, half don't. So hopefully the half that don't like him will be supporting the old gypsy boy and we'll get it rocking and rolling. So this is for all the gypsies back home, for everyone in the UK... <laughs> Everybody, and plus everybody, half the Mexicans, this is for as well. So get behind me. And um, thank, thank you, thank you, Tom, thank you, Billy, thank you, Joe, thank you, Eddie, thank you, Sal, and thank you, Dallas, thank you, boxing. Because as I said, on Saturday night, the biggest crowd post pandemic, and boxing did that. People will be tuned in all around the world on the zone to see how special this sport of boxing can be when we get it right. So good luck to everybody. We look forward to a tremendous event on Saturday. And if we could have a head-to-head -head up here, please. Thank you. You can't see him, but the heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury, is here causing a ruckus.